something exciting should be coming up fairly soon, but first a rotten old BBC program. A love story part one. Difficulty expert. John has a romantic side and wants to show it to his new love. The captain loves to read love stories and probably has love stories book somewhere he frequents love, love, love. The book should do nicely, so get the love stories book. John wants to have children with his new love after they get married. The tradition is to give a dewdrop doll to the firstborn and leave the secondborn with absolutely nothing, cause screw them. Find and take dewdrop. When you're done, make your exit to the sewers through the warehouse. Boss Polino's daughter Laura is harmless and defenseless. Don't hurt her, cause we just put her in there for some reason, I don't know. Okay, so this is five part one. Okay, it's new dark ready, so nothing to worry about. Last time we got John out from some sort of pagan puzzle place, I think. This time, we're gonna buy a car. Alright, sweet! Garrett, I'm sorry, but I must ask you to amend the plans you have made to reclaim the love story's book for me. I would like you to search for some additional items, and then I will finally be able to proclaim my love to someone. Originally, I had planned to get those items myself, but unfortunately, I've come down with a bad case of flu, and because of this, I'm unable to travel through the cold weather. I realize I'm already in your debt, and must apologize for handing over these additional tasks and creating fun gameplay to you on such short notice, and also for not doing so in person. I know the only way in is through the sewers, so I ordered a trustworthy messenger to drop this note in a place where I'm sure you will find it. Jun. Oh, right. What are those tasks? Wait. He doesn't even say. Well, maybe it's sort of implied on the next page that we're not allowed to turn to. Anyways, what we got here? Okay. John has always been a sucker when it comes to giving candy. Find the heart candy and take it with you. And, and there's the book. A diamond should make things last forever. Okay. Couple new things. Great, 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 great. That's what we're looking at here. Greats. I show these videos to grandparents and they laugh the live long day. Well, one of them does anyway. The other, well... He's nice, too. Wait. I heard a... ...thing. Oh, that's that. Because I guess it's incredibly important to block me off from going back to the start place. I'm, I'm not sure why, but sure. Let's not ask questions. Let's just talk about how we're not sure. I guess there's a plate down there to feed the pet rats, you know? Or pet spiders. You can't feasibly keep these things in your house. Whoa, it's an albino spider. An albider, if you will. Uh, to Albion's land, coming home. When he see the misty night, he becomes white, okay? That's how white people were born, and they obviously need to be very grateful that they were, because it's pretty tough being being white. I mean, what, 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 what is, what do you mean offensive? I'm just saying, being an albino is hard. What are you talking about? Anyway, it seems like every time I get here, the light is like, I want to be a pagan light! Well, you're not. Guess what, buddy? You're not. Okay, eh... Uh... I, I, I hesitate to save. Oh yeah, they see with their rears. Pretty great. That's one of my catchphrases that is not the most exciting thing ever. Also, I stole it, but this is thief and I steal everything. What? Really? <laughs> okay then. I mean, seriously, I could escape this horrid pit immediately, but instead I'm going to make friendly with the spiders and with the grammar, I make friendly with the grammar. I guess these are the holes, they dig the holes and they take a mud bath in them. Just like chickens! Well, it's more like a dirt bath or a sun dirt or something. Oh, I don't know, anyways, here's a dead guy. Let's ask him what he thinks. Letter from mm, to Cedric. You know the deal, all is fair on love and war. You tried everything you could to stop it, but in the end, the strongest always prevails. Love is the most powerful thing in the whole universe. Nothing can defeat love or war. Uh, okay. Well, it's not exactly a lovey-dovey item to be giving a healing potion. It's like, hey, hey, my love, I know that you're sick and all. So sick. So here's a healing potion that'll maybe make you be a bit less sick. <laughs> it's even a special kind of healing potion. It's a mental healing potion. Because you're sick and I'm not sure you understand what I'm implying here. Just to be clear, this 
looks a lot like the city from Mission Numero Un. Un. So, is there some curfew that makes guys not, 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 not? Because I don't know. I mean, everybody else be walking around. I don't see why some big old thief in a black cloak couldn't walk around. Oh, shit, son, son. Oh, what I wouldn't have to make the sun be slightly closer to the earth than it is now. Is this literally the same city? I mean, I guess obviously it would be, wouldn't it? Still. 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 Apparently this two-parter here, being the last in the series, is also the best. So, pretty cool. Let's gamble. And we can make a million dollars. Well, it's physically possible I won't make any other guarantees beyond that. Well, actually, it depends on, like, how much you stand to win, but... Pff, Details. I'm sure one could finagle any gambler to promise a million dollars if one waved enough teddy bears in front of his visage. Well, well, hello there, miss. You're a drunk, cause you drink it all, and that. <laughs> Someone there? Oh, something. Anyway. Ah, the joys of travail, which is French for work. Work can be joyful, although it can also not be. I'll throw some statistics at you. 10,000% of people hate their jobs. It's going to motivate you to not hate your job by me throwing a bunch of depressing statistics at you. A <laughs> letter from Captain rushes out to Stephanie. Miss Stephanie, how about last night? I don't know what I did wrong, but if you don't start blocking me out, we will have to reevaluate your employment here. Remember, I am the one who got you this job in the first place. I wanted you to know that I have noticed you have been spending much of your personal time down in the prison. According to the logs, you were interrogating one of the prisoners, but I have a hunch that something else is going on. If it is what I think it is, I'll personally take you back to the jail where you can spend the rest of your life as a servant, Captain Reshazar. Uh, well, to each her own. Letter from Stephanie to her boyfriend. My dear, I have it all planned out. Friday night when I visit you, we will trade clothes, and I will let you out of your cell. You can simply and calmly walk out of the compound as if you were any other guard. In the morning, when the prisoners are fed, I will claim that you knocked me out and stole my uniform so that no one will know that we are together on this Saturday night. I have made plans to get some fruit spice from the market so no one will be suspicious of my absence. Meet me at the clock tower Saturday night at nine. From there, we will run to Dayport and enjoy life together. Oh, I see. It's a wholesome relationship. Well, this is called a love story, and this is a love story. But can I do anything for them, or do they not need me? It's perfectly possible they have this all sorted out, and it's going to go perfectly without my help. Come on, let's not be presumptuous here. Garrett skips over ramblings of drama. As opposed to ramblings of comedy, which is what I do, which is much better, of course. Last week, I was patrolling down in the jail and lost my ring. That ring was my grandmother's ring, and she'll be disappointed for sure if she finds out I lost the ring. I'm pretty sure I lost it on the ramp area on the way down to the jail, but it's so dark and airy. <laughs> sure, probably is. I have absolutely no doubt. Well, oh, that's a fireplace, y'all. You know... It, it could just be me, but I'm given to understand that when you have a chimney, you probably don't want any other openings, lest the smoke just billow into here and not get sucked out the top due to some sort of crazy convection and other insane physics-defying, well, physics-obeying, but yet still insane things. <laughs> okay, so, down to the jail. This looks more like a bar. I honestly not am quite sure what's going on here. Uh, down. It implied the jail was in the same building. I don't know. I guess not. What have we got here? To all servants, until this door is fixed, you may use either of the guards' bathrooms. Oh. Uh, ah, I say, and of course, unless you're some sort of person who likes this sort of thing, in which case, well, I won't judge you, but I will murder you. Right in the hey, face. Help, thief! He's right. 
Well, you do speak the truth, but unfortunately, what you speak is an inconvenience, so I'm going to have to just go ahead and shut you right up. It's nothing personal, you understand, but you popped out at me while I was robbing your place. And you broke my knuckles when I punched you in the face. I want a thrill, thrill, yeah, I want a thrill. So, okay, I get... I don't get noticed when I waltz into a public building, but when I waltz into what is ostensibly some sort of private building here, I do get noticed. I... I don't understand. Not everything I say is... Hysterical. If you want hysterical, well, this is hysterical. Oh, but bird, darling, that's hysterical. So, so get it rigged. Ooh, wow. Boy, I'm an emotional, moody guy. It's friggin' amazing. Oh, you'll never catch me sleeping on the job. Wow, it wasn't even worth it. Wait, did I knock you out? <laughs> What's going on? I want to go to jail. Is that so much to ask to go to? I mean, what do I have to do to go to jail? Oh, wait. <laughs> Perhaps I could take that club and wave it threateningly. In the visage of somebody. I said visage. What have I done with Finn? I don't know. I'm asking you that, mate. Why would I answer myself if I'm asking a question? Did you ever consider... Hey, oh, stop. okay. Just checking, you know. Perhaps Stephanie or whoever up there was just a calm, rational, sensible person who enjoys watching people walk about the place and doesn't really... Oh, shit. Mind what they do, opening her footlocker, there's some sort of owl. We've got owls around here, well, we don't own them, but... They do exist, I hear tell. Hello, moderately bodied person, you would be an excellent customer for a 1929 Cadillac. Who are you? But you lack a caddy instead. Okay, here's a Cadillac joke, okay? What happened to the El Dorado? How dare you? Okay? It was super bro, um... What? No reaction? You guys have no sense of humor! Ugh, well... Anyway, enough having fun. By having fun, I mean being intentionally awkward. To troll people! Or to fish for them. I don't know. Hey, fishes, they're pretty nice. You can probably stuff one down your pants. Boss, I was just informed by one of the servants that Cedric was found dead in the sewer. I don't know how he got out of his cell, nor do I know how he obtained a sword. We still haven't found the key he used to get through the sewer access gate. It may be possible that he hid it somewhere in his cell. I'll personally take care of this and report back to you, Deputy Sam. Sam, I am a Oh, wow. Doorknobs and broomsticks. What an interesting room. These aren't cells, they're interrogation rooms. Very interesting indeed. There's a book. It's a bunch of books. There's a paper. It looks rather hard. So if you're the kind of person who wants a hard paper in their pants, you could probably stick that down there as well. There's many things. What? Why did I find a secret? <laughs> eh? Okay, what, okay, what, what just... What just happened? That... I thought I was opening that door, but this... This candle, you frog, but how do you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Slightly odd, but hell, why not? Wait, is this always bright? Oh well. I can burn things with my mind. 
Well, I can use my mind to raise my hand up and burn it with my hand by waving it in front of my face. I know, I know, I know, I'm such a fraud. Waving my hand around to burn things, I'm such a fraud. I, I, I don't really understand how I could make a living doing this or sort of make any money or power whatsoever. I mean, if, if, if anyone has any suggestions how I could take the power to simply lift my hand and wave it around and cause things to burn in order to get tons of money, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, whatever. Letter from Russia's are to somebody or somebody, I don't know. Boss, that creep was caught stealing again. As instructed, he has been placed into one of the cells. We think he may have come into the compound through the sewer access gate in the warehouse. He must have had a key because the gate was locked after he came in. In the morning, we will move one of the crates on top of the gate to prevent any more thieves from getting in. Okay. He came into the compound through access gate in the warehouse. What compound? Oh, of course. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Get out of here. He's got the bump on the back of his head. He's, he's from his own club, you know? Oh. Peeps be hoisted by their own kind. Lifted up and spun around like a ballerina. Who dog? I have never worn a pink hat. What? Christ are you talking about, mate? I did not my last breath. So I guess you can't close that secret up. Not that I want to. Well, this there's all this talk about cells. Uh-oh. I think I'm in trouble. Nope. Nope. Well, it seems like a decent position. Let's look for the cell, shall we? That looks like a cell, so let's not, as I just got cold feet. I don't know. I didn't say I had warm feet here, did I? I'm I'm serious. I'm serious, mate. I gotta get some books, and there's a captain involved somewhere, but I wanna go to a cell to help some all all ciliary people out with their love story. Is that so much to ask? Good lord on a popsicle stick, man. Is it so much to ask? July 5. Today, business as usual. Shipments were received on time. Contents were distributed to the boss, guards, and servants. We did, however, receive some unusual items in one of the crates. I was rather perplexed when I found this crate to contain heart-shaped boxes. What is more unusual is that each box contains small, sweet, brown, candle-like truffles. Why is that unusual? After noticing their stimulating aroma, I decided to taste one. Ah, oh, this is the most exhilarating taste I have ever experienced. I wonder where they came from or if we can order more of these. Yesterday, I found those delicious candies to be quite satisfying. I'll be sure to have another crate delivered to my office when the next shipment comes in. Today, I noticed that one of the female guards has been frequently visiting the jail. It's not common for a guard to make so many trips to the jail without a prisoner. I wonder what's going on. While I was in town, I met the most beautiful woman I ever done did see, and I introduced myself, and after a short chat, I discovered that her beauty extended far beneath the surface. I was quickly captivated by her character and personality, and realized that she is quite special. We plan to meet again tomorrow at the cafe. I can't wait to see her again. Everybody's in love. We met at the cafe and had strawberry ice cream. It was too noisy at the cafe, so we decided to search for a more quiet place. Even though it was rather unusual, the place we found was very enjoyable. We found a shoe shop and sat down in the area where people try on shoes. Our conversations flow so easily and natural, and I feel like this is the one I was meant to spend my life with. Well, ain't that sweet? Wait. Uh, I have to now die of a heart attack. So see you guys next time. Bye for now.